Hello YouTubers, Drone the Mind Sculptor here again with another deck tech. This one is a mono black budget deck. Costs about maybe ten dollars to make, maybe. So it's pretty awesome. Took it to Friday Night Magic and got first. So um for those of you that don't want to watch the whole video and you just want to see what the deck is on the description so that you guys can just check it out and stuff. Um this deck is a aggro deck, very, very fast. The most expensive thing in here is Vampire Nighthawks. So, um, yeah, three drop. Wow. So, to get this started, um, we have Metamaze, which is just 17 swamp. Seems like not very much at all, but all you need is two land to run this deck pretty good. Four land is preferable because then you can do a lot of stuff, but they usually end up overdrawing anyway, so. Yep, only need 17 of these guys. Nothing special or fancy about it. Just 17 of them. And then, on to the cheapest thing, which is one drops. So we have four times we grab because of Dead Touch, and it's a one one. So, why not? And then we have Rare Kids Cackler, another one one for one, or it can be a two two. And a Slitherhead because of the scavenge. Scavenge is awesome because it's only zero, and you can put it on this guy, Chromated Soul, because he is unblockable. So if he becomes just two, I mean, it's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet combo right there. And then for, we have Dynagraph Roll, one for two, two. It's pretty good, but you can just battlefield path, which is pretty long. Then what deck, what black deck should not have tragic flips? Come on. Tragic flips is like a must have. So we're on the full place of those, of course. And two drops, we have two pack rats. And um, there's two more on the side of the board, so, you know, pretty cool. Pretty awesome card right there. Here's probably the first main card in this deck. Blood artist, because a lot of your stuff dies a lot, because you have a lot of it to kill. So, yeah, pretty awesome card. Very amazing. So you're running the place out of those. And then you're running three of these. Three through kill assassins because of the tech touch. You never want to unleash them unless they are ever attacking. But you're not going to know you're to. So, yeah, don't unleash them. I never do. Because the death touch is normally for blocking. And then we have four ultimate price to turn them on a color creature. I don't know if I would have run a whole play set of these, but I didn't really know what else to put in here. So then we have three dark favors. Um, give them to your vampire and I hug. Um, pretty awesome. Give them to this guy. It's pretty awesome. And just drop one in that place. So I guess the last card in this deck is a vampire and I hug. Just play a set of them. So a very inexpensive deck. Very cheap, um, very easy to learn how to play it too. I mean, you can pick it up like that. So, comment down below, like, subscribe, do all the stuff. Comment on what you think this deck would do, and if you build it, let me know how it works for you. I'm really excited to hear back from you guys. So, here's to the Mind Sculptor, signing off.